What's up, guys? Happy Thanksgiving if you are in the United States. If you're not, then, uh, well, this is a holiday we have here. I'm gonna show you this little flat design tutorial. It is Thanksgiving related or Pilgrim related. Uh, those people that sort of settled into America. Well, if you really get into the history of things, it's kind of complicated, but don't you worry about it. We're, this is just a flat design tutorial, okay? Uh, let's get into it. Here we go. Oh, nope, wrong button. This one. Bow. Okay, so we're gonna be making something like this right here. It's like a little Pilgrim hat thing. Let's get started. I'm gonna come over to the side, not that side, maybe this side, or let's keep it on screen a little bit and just model everything off of this first one that I made. This is gonna be out of shapes and everything, so let's start with the shape tool, the ellipse tool specifically. The shortcut key for that is L. You can get to it by clicking and holding and going to the ellipse tool in the shape tool over here on the left. I'm gonna click and drag, and I'm gonna make an oval and this is the bottom of the hat or the brim if you will now whatever color it shows up as it'll likely be black for you we're gonna make it sort of like a slate color so I'm gonna go to my color panel up in the window drop down down to color that's gonna pop this out it's also F6 as a shortcut I should remember that one I like to double click on this fill right here and then I can select with this color picker whatever I want let's do a slate color maybe 20 percent black right there i'm just looking at this b right here and till it said 20 percent hit okay and there we go it's a little light but that's okay all right now the next thing we want to do is create from the center out another oval so i'm going to select that ellipse tool once again click and drag from the center and apparently that moves that guy so i'm going to go a little off center right in here click and drag to make another oval this time i'm going to hold option or alt and that is going to uh, create it from the center out. I'm gonna try to get somewhere into that sort of cone shape on top of this, uh, this hat and let go. Okay, so there it is. Let's center this guy up on the brim of the hat. Go back to the selection tool, shortcut key is V, select both and then click on the brim or bottom of the hat. <laughs> I think it's called a brim, right? That highlights it. That means we're aligning to a key object. So now I'm gonna go up to window down to my align panel, get that to pop out and I have all these little options. We're aligning to a key object. I'm gonna just center it up like that. And then also make sure that it's centered this way like that. There we go, so now we're in the center. I'm gonna select both again. Go to the shape builder tool, that is shift M, you know it's my favorite tool. I'm gonna to hold option or alt until that little cursor turns to a minus instead of a plus click and drag through this bottom shape and it goes away. Okay, so if I go back to that selection tool, shortcut key V, now I've got this sort of shape, it's looking good. Let's create the little belt. We're doing this out of shapes and I want it to have the same arc as the bottom of this hat. So I clicked on the bottom of the hat, I'm gonna hold option or alt till that double arrow pops up and I'm gonna click and drag upward and hold shift at the same time to keep it locked in. And we're gonna drag to where we want the bottom of the uh, top of the hat to end up. So maybe right in here would be good. I'm just eyeballing this. So we're looking at the bottom here cause that's gonna make the bottom of this. And then we're gonna do the same thing to this shape, click and drag up while holding option or alt to duplicate it. And we need to make the size of the belt. So I'm just gonna let it lock into the center right there. Okay, this looks super complicated, but basically what we have, if we click and select all of this, the shapes are in there. They're in there somewhere. So we need to hit Shift M to get back to that Shape Builder tool, and we need to start cutting out our shapes. So all these things on the side, notice how I have everything selected. If I just hold Option or Alt, remember I can click and drag to, to, uh, to minus out these shapes. So I'm gonna do that to that side. I'm gonna do it to this side. All these extra pieces we don't need. Okay, now you can kind of see where that, that belt around the hat is gonna be. It's gonna be right there. So let's go ahead and get all these merged together up top here. So I'm gonna click and drag through these top shapes, stopping when I reach the top of the belt. I'm gonna let go. Now I have a top shape. I'm going to click and drag along the outside of where the belt should be so that we now have that bottom shape. 
And now this might require a little bit of zooming in, so Command or Control Plus to zoom in. So we're gonna look into this really close. I'm gonna select both again. And notice we have these little corner pieces that I need to be a part of the belt as well. So I'm gonna hit Shift M, we're back on that Shape Builder tool, and I'm gonna carefully click and draw through the corner piece, the bigger belt piece, and then the other corner piece. Once I've done that, I let go. And now we have three pieces, the top, the belt, and the bottom. Okay, let's zoom back out. And I'm gonna switch over, switch over to the selection tool, shortcut key V. And now I can select these pieces independently of each other. I'm gonna select the belt and we're gonna pick a color. Let's go up to that little color panel. Remember it's in the window drop down if you need it. I'm gonna double click on this guy here. And as long as we're sort of in the orange hue around here, I'm gonna select something, um, select something maybe with a little more red tint to it something like this, maybe right in there. Hit okay, and there's our belt. Okay, so we need the buckle, right? The little buckle. All right, so let's do the, but actually, let's get it a little more red like this one. So let's do, let's go back to that color picker. I'm gonna go a little bit more red and a little bit more muted right in here. Something like that, a little peachier color. Okay, we need to create this little belt buckle. We're gonna do that with the rectangle tool. The shortcut key for that is M. I'm gonna create a rectangle about the size that I want it. There it is, it's just pulled in the same fill as what my belt is. Let's switch the fill and the stroke over here, so we're gonna flip that. And then, up in our color panel, that stroke, we're gonna click it, double click it to open up the color picker for the stroke. Let's get something a little bit more golden and a little bit more saturated. Up in here, maybe we'll, maybe we'll do a little orangier something in there. Hit okay. All right, now we need to increase the stroke size. It could be up here at the top, it could be over here at the right, depending on which version you're in. Uh, but this is my properties panel, and this stroke size over here, we're gonna guesstimate here, uh, 45 maybe? Okay, that seems like a little much for this size of a hat, so let's do, let's do 35, something like that. Now I need to click on this stroke icon, and I can select a few things. The corners, I want to be rounded. And uh, I don't mind, I, I, the line stroke, I'm gonna keep it in the center. So from here, what I can actually do, if I zoom in on this guy again to show you guys, Command plus or minus, remember, or Control plus or minus. So if I click on this guy, there's these little dots here. Those are available in CC. So if you're in CS6, you're gonna need to find my How to Round Corner CS6 tutorial. But in CC, which most of you are, the view drop down down to uh, corner widget is either hide or show corner widget. So you can do that here uh, if you're not seeing these little dots. But with these dots selected, you can pull them in and sort of round off these corners like that belt buckle look that we wanted to go for. All right, so I'll zoom back out here. Let's drag this guy over the top of this hat. I want him to be centered, so I'm gonna uh, have him selected. Shift click on the top of the hat and then click on the top of the hat, that's that align to key object. And now with this alignment panel, I'm just gonna make sure I hit the horizontal align center, just to center that up. And we can center it on this belt buckle, uh, sort of visually if we want to. We can use the up and down arrow keys to bump that into place. Now the last thing we wanna add here is the little, like the actual latch part right here. I'm gonna do that with a little tool called, uh, it's actually right here, it's called the line segment tool with the slash icon. And I'm just gonna find the center of that, click and drag out while holding shift, uh, about not quite halfway, maybe a little short of halfway, and let go. So that creates a little line with that stroke. If it doesn't, you can go ahead and edit that stroke uh, if you need to. And to create a rounded end on this, we need to go into those stroke options on the cap and just click on round cap. And so that creates like a nice rounded little Whoops, nice rounded little, oh my gosh, I keep hitting that button. I'm trying to get back to the selection tool. Okay, nice rounded little uh, buckle. Now is this buckle too big? I don't know, maybe we can bring in this side as well. I think it should be a little bit more square. Now that I'm gonna shift click to select both of these pieces and maybe uh, drag them back over to line them back up in the center, something like that. This buckle looks huge compared to this one. I did a much better job on this side. Uh, so let's zoom back in. 
And maybe we need to click on both of these again. And with them both selected, in the upper right hand corner, I can click and drag, hold shift and option to kind of scale in and out from the center. Maybe I can scale it down just a little bit like that. And then maybe we can add a little bit more uh, from the stroke standpoint to be like 50 points. Oh wow, that's too much. Uh, to be like 40 points, maybe just to have a little more stroke on that buckle. Okay, so there's our little hat. We need to add the final little shadow on this guy. You know these flat design tutorials always come with a nice shadow. So back to my rectangle tool. This time let's go ahead and set up our fill and stroke in the appearance. Uh, I'm gonna go with just a straight black, as, as dark as I can get, and then the stroke, I'm going to say none, zero, please. So no stroke on that, we just want a black rectangle. I'm gonna make that rectangle big enough that it covers our entire hat, and then let it lock into the center. By the way, these are smart guides, all these pink lines, you can turn them on, up in view, down to smart guides, check mark. All right, now that we've drawn that rectangle, let's go back to the selection tool, let's select the hat and the rectangle, switch to the shape builder tool now that everything is selected and let's get rid of this outer piece by holding option or alt and just clicking on it boom it's gone now back to the selection tool shortcut key v and i've got this shadow it's obviously too dark so i can click on it and just do the opacity at something like 15 percent to give us a little shadow on our hat and of course we can always just create a uh, rectangle background to uh to sort of accentuate our design. All right, guys, what do you think? Uh, we, we, we did okay. I mean, it's a different kind of hat. I'm sure your guys will turn out differently as well. Uh, make sure you tag me on Twitter or Instagram, wherever you want to post something like this if you're working on cool little flat design, Thanksgiving, or any other tutorials or designs. Whatever, at Pixel and Bracket. Thanks for watching, you guys. Subscribe for more tips and tutorials, and I'll see you next time. Oh, <laughs>